our tail of the tape for this flyweight fight. Eight and O Brazilian Juliana Velasquez against Oklahoma Zone Christina Williams. See, everything else is very similar, but that eight and O three and one. The only loss for Christina Williams was to title contender Valerie Latourneau. All right, let's get the official introductions once again from the voice, Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA Live on Paramount Network now features flyweights set for three five-minute rounds introducing the blue corner at five foot eight weighing in 125.8 pounds her professional record three wins one loss fighting out of Edmond Oklahoma presenting Christina Warhol's Williams and across the cage her adversary out of the red corner at five foot six weighing in 124.9 pounds as a professional. She's undefeated, eight victories, no defeats, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, introducing Juliana Velasquez. In charge of the action, your referee, Jacob Montalvo. Jacob Montalvo, our referee. And nobody, nobody is watching this fight closer to the TV then our right, champion, Alimale McFarland. And here we go. Tonight's Fight Clock brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. The Brazilian, the Southpaw, Velasquez in the red gloves, blue gloves for Christina Williams. It should be very interesting to see what Juliana does when Christina starts kicking. Does she start to look for counters or does she start to look for the clinch for the takedown? The black belt in judo against the black belt in taekwondo. And as we talk about the eliminator, she has a strange feeling that the winner of this fight will be the number one contender for my, that would be her belt. That would be her belt. They might get a trip to Hawaii out of it. <laughs> and that's the one thing when you're watching. Look at the length when Christina Williams kicks. She kicks from a distance. She's able to bring herself close to her opponent, land that kick when you think, oh, I'm in a distance where I'm going to be OK. Velasquez did say, and I quote, the next owner of the belt is a Brazilian, me. I have better striking, good takedown defense, good grappling. As well, I'm sure Christina Williams would like to prove her wrong. Nice little exchange there. You saw Juliana come in, landing a jump, and she got hit with a counter. Backing off, just re resetting. Center of the cage, going toe to toe. The biggest improvement that Williams told us she's made is meshing her MMA skills, the entire skill set, with her already established striking skills. Yeah, she's getting hit with that. Yeah, she is. That jab is coming out, touching her, and then she's touching with that straight left hand. Justina Williams got to get her head off of the center line. She's just leaving her head there. There's no movement at all. And Juliana's just starting to close that distance and land strikes cleanly. Amateur kickboxing record of 8-0. Had some amateur boxing fights. So striking is definitely something that Christina Williams had. Nice straight shot getting out, hit, big out shot right here, right now by Juliana Velasquez. Those shots were right in front of us. They landed solid. Velasquez looking outstanding here in the early part of the fight. Turn those shoulders, John. Fighting very long. Absolutely, just beautiful, very composed. And this is what you're talking about. She's got a national team background in judo. She was part of the Brazilian national team. And she does not try to grapple. She wants to knock your head off. That's the way she likes to fight. That straight left keep fighting this mark. She said, every fight is a little box of surprises. Has she surprised Christina Williams with her striking so far in round one. 
think she surprised her a little bit with the power that comes with it. Yeah. I think Christina knew, and we talked about it, she knew that she liked the strike, she knew that she was good with her striking, but you never know exactly how hard that person hits until you feel it, and then you go, uh-oh, that, that's a little bit more than I want. And when you're seeing Christina Williams back up, that's a bad sign for her. She is a come forward fighter. Absolutely. So that's telling you she's having a problem with the range and distance of Juliana and that power that she's getting hit with. She's gonna have to make adjustments to stay good in this fight as far as being able to compete with what Juliana's presenting. And you saw the graphic with all those okay training partners of Velasquez before the fight started. You know, the Nogueira brothers still got that guy named Anderson. <laughs> they might give you a little bit of that. Yeah, it might be pretty good with that left hand. Proudly representing Team Nogueira out of Rio de Janeiro. A great start for Juliana Velasquez. Sometimes when you're facing a southpaw for the first time and you're not used to that stance, you're not used to where these shots come from, it takes you a while to get used to it. We'll talk about that in our main event as well, Big John. Yep. Nice hook. Great. a little bit more, tuck that chin, and we need, we can throw more kicks out there. We're getting big reactions off him, she's not liking him. All right? Breathe. Just like Breathe. 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 If you're back to the cage, Breathe. it's so heavy. No back to the cage, center, center. Right. When we get her back to the cage, we'll put a kick flurry together, and now back her up. We get right back in the center, and we keep moving. All right, you're good. You're good. Got your mouthpiece? All right. Stay behind the black line. Here's the shots. Nice kick by Christina, but look at that left, right, and then that straight left. That landed huge. Another one. All those shots landed with power. We're going to see how Christina Williams adjusts for the second round. Round two. Williams in the blue gloves. Velasquez in the red gloves. And again, Velasquez tried to return fire after a kick thrown by the Warhorse. Absolutely. She's looking for that counter. One of the good things you did see. When, when Christina comes out and she's circling, that's fine. When she's starting to go forward, that's great. It's when she's backing straight up, she cannot do that and be successful in the fight. So far, she is able to push forward here in the first 30 seconds of round number two. Round one, 10-9 to Velasquez. No doubt about it, landed the bigger, heavier shots and volume-wise still took that. The War Horse. Three wins inside the Bellator cage. Same for Juliana Velasquez. They clinch. Now be careful with the judoka in that position. They go for a little ride. If she gets her off of balance, off of position in her stance, you'll see that Juliana will take her down and try to take her down hard. Landing on top of her do damage. But for the most part, you're gonna see Juliana staying on her feet. She likes to be in the stand-up game. She likes to trade shots. And you see she's very successful. Again, look at that beautiful jab. Snap Christina's head back. Lead uppercut and in the straight. And again, now we're seeing Christina Williams starting to back up. That's gonna be a problem for her. She is a come forward fighter. That's when she's doing damage. That's when she's doing her good work. She's usually coming forward. Velasquez said, I have a very strong boxing coach. I work a lot with world championship caliber boxers. I'm very comfortable standing up, very comfortable going with the flow, which is what she's done so far, partner. Oh, she's just very calm, very relaxed, meticulous in what she's doing. 
not overextending at times, and when she's going after shots, you know, we can go back to the fight we saw with Sinead Kavanaugh. We were talking about how she was looping shots. Look at the shots that Juliana Velasquez is throwing. They're all straight, what we call down the pipe shots most of the time. That left hand coming straight down, just like you just saw. It gets there fast and it gets there with power. Kavanaugh featured in one of our many preliminary matchups earlier tonight here inside the Windstar World Casino and Resort. 20th time we have been here. Great to be back. Mike Goldberg, Big John McCarthy. Round two of this flyweight showcase. The winner may very well be the next to fight for the belt against our champion, the Hawaiian, Alima Leigh McFarland. You see, one of the things picking up as you're watching Christina, she's got a bad tendency of dropping her hands when she's setting up her kicks. Big left hand. That's a nice right hand there. She's getting eaten up. That's not going to go that far. She doesn't start firing back. Velasquez looks outstanding tonight. Very sharp. Against the black belt in Taekwondo. And so far, out striking her. And watch that. Him with that left jump. Straight left hand is just, just eating her up. She's trying to use those kicks almost like an extension just to get her off of her. Not a lot of power on him. Juliana is just landing heavy strikes. And right now, the War Horse can't get off the cage. Oh, she's in trouble. Trying to hurt the body. Velasquez looking for the finish. It is all over. Juliana Velasquez moves to 9 0. That type of performance may very well have earned her a shot at the title against Alima Lay McFarland. Outstanding. That's the best she's looked. That was a beautiful performance. Exactly what you're saying. That is the best performance of Juliana's career. It was outstanding. Let's watch this finish, Mike. There's the kick. You see, look at the left hand straight down the pipe. Right hand lands to the body. To the body. Big shots, comes up back up top, and you see Christina Williams not able to respond. Getting hit with heavier, heavier shots. Just starting to be pummeled, goes down. Outstanding performance by Juliana Velasquez. And, and when we were talking earlier, you know, Christina being that person, look at her, look at her go after it, trying to come back. That's what we were talking about. She's mean. She's got that natural born killer instinct of going after someone. Sometimes someone has skills that you can't match up with, and that's what happened to her tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end officially. Four minutes, three seconds, round number two. The winner by TK Ho, still undefeated, Juliana Velasquez. Fourth career win by knockout. She defeats Christina Williams. Juliana Velasquez will visit with my partner, Big John McCarthy. Wow, what a performance by Juliana. That was the best performance we have ever seen. Your left hand could not miss. How are you feeling in that cage? One of the best presentations of yours. How did you feel in the octagon? First of all, good evening. Thank you, Oklahoma. Foi aqui que eu fiz a minha primeira luta, né, do Bellator. E eu acho que essa é a minha segunda aqui, minha quarta dentro do evento. E eu acho que a cada evento eu tô crescendo mais. Eu vim numa estratégia, mas me encontrei em outra, como eu sempre falei. O, a luta, o atleta tem que ser completo. Tanto bom no chão, quanto bom na trocação. E eu me senti hoje muito bem na trocação. Hoje eu achei que era, foi a minha noite. Yeah, good evening, Oklahoma. It's my second time fighting here. And, uh, you know, I felt really good. You know, I could uh, show some ground game, but I felt really good standing up, and I had to put it away. Well, there was no ground game, but your stand-up was so clean, so sharp. You heard her earlier, before your fight, the champ, Alimale McFarlane, came out saying 
that this, the winner of this could be the next contender for her belt. Is that what she wants? Bom, a Lima Magnei falou que é, a vencedora dessa luta ia lutar pelo cinturão. É isso que você quer? Eu acho que era, já, já era para ter acontecido, né? Mas tudo bem. É, eu sou, sou profissional, meu trabalho é lutar. Então, acho que eu fiz a minha melhor noite, da, minha, minha luta, melhor luta da noite para mim. Então, eu acho que eu sou merecedora dessa, dessa, dessa próxima vitória, dessa próxima luta, né? Yeah, well, this this fight had should have had happened already, but you know I'm I'm patient and uh, of course I'm ready and uh, yeah, I'm ready for the next bout. Well, I wanted to congratulations on a beautiful performance, outstanding against a very tough Christina Williams, Oklahoma. Your winner, Juliana Velasquez.